We think, Kevin, though, when people go to vote, and listen, it's already starting, um, that people are still going to be aware of what their costs are, what the polling shows us they don't feel good about. Should this, should President Trump be doing better with these polls in mind, um, given what the current economic conditions are? And the way people perceive them. You would think so. But part of the disinformation campaign that the vice president is running includes the Biden-Harris administration being disingenuous, at the very least, on job creation numbers. And to the heart of your question, Shannon, ultimately, President Trump is, is doing a better job in the last few weeks of messaging on the two issues on which this election will turn, particularly in the swing states, the economy, but also immigration. And when you put those two things together, the everyday, hardworking American says the Biden-Harris administration's policies have affected the American dream. I think President Trump, over the next few weeks, if he hammers that home, is going to be in good shape. Well, that brings Kevin, since we have you here, I want to ask about somewhere where she has landed some punches, and this is the Connecting Project 2025 from Heritage to President Trump. Here's how the New Republic reports on it. Mass deportations, check. Shove a Christian God into schools and workplaces, check. Weaponize the DOJ for Trump, check. Fire civil servants en masse and replace them with vetted MAGAs, check. It goes on from there. Um, can you answer any of those? And the, the secondary question of the Trump level or Trump team members' involvement with Project 2025. Thanks for the question. The, the greater story is why Vice President Harris is running away from her record. Her legacy is not as the borders are, but as the invasions are. Her legacy is ending the American dream because of dangerously liberal economic policies. To the heart of your question, you know that I'm always happy to answer questions. Project 2025 is the largest, broadest scale conservative movement, boilerplate set of policies that we've been been talking about for 45 years to do what? To correct government overreach, which has happened at the expense of everyday Americans who are striving for the American dream. That's what Vice President Harris is running against. And the conservative movement, but also many voters in the center are saying, come out and do an interview. Have the courage to defend your policies, but she can't because they're terrible. Doug, you got 10 seconds. Look, Democrats have something that's a tw Project 2025. They've had it for years. It's called the Center for American Progress. They put their people in Democratic administrations. That's actually normal. The, ch the difference is in Washington, D.C., everybody's been to cocktail parties with the Center for American Progress people. They don't go to events with Project 2025 people. All right. Panel, thank you very much.